Hello, welcome. Come with us on a walk through our Kaikoura model by NextGen and Inside Out RV. We start at the driver's side, front corner on this model, little storage boot. This is where the electrics are kept. So, this van has a full red arc, red vision control system. Uh, we've got the Manager 30 charging unit here, the Red Vision uh, brains, and we also have a big inverter in this van, uh, 2500 watts for running microwave, uh, other 240 volt appliances, and a CPAP machine for this customer. Moving backwards, we have our outdoor shower here. This is standard on all our models. Hot and cold. Uh, two water fill points for the 95 litre each water tanks under the floor. This is a fridge vent. This one has a compressor, uh, Dometic compressor fridge. Here's our nice flush, flush mount, 16 amp. Power points. Quite proud of those. When you have an outdoor shower, you'll get an outside light, which is very handy for when you're filling, filling the water, plugging in, setting up camp late at night. Radio aerial. Moving backwards. Here's a vent for the gas uh, unit, which is water heating and space heating in this model. Full tunnel boot through, uh, nice big access, about 500 by 500, full width, uh, includes the wand for the awning, wheel brace comes with the heavy caravan and the leg winder and then you also get a jack, uh, sort of a high, higher lift, heavy duty jack if you ever get a puncture on the tyres. Nice dustproof seals and secure latches. Heavy duty rear bumper, uh, forearm on this one, rated for hanging e bikes and so on off the back. Uh, every van includes a spare wheel. Nice mags, uh, reverse camera, rear view camera that can be set up to run all the time like a mirror in your car, in your tow vehicle. Unfortunately this van does, just with the configuration, does mean the awning arm covers the hatch but once the awning's set up that's not a problem. This customer's gone with two picnic tables outside, quite a good idea, you can have a barbecue on one and be preparing on the other, whatever you want. All our vans have a a 240 volt outside, this will only work when you're plugged into mains, I believe. Could wire it to run off the inverter. We have an entry light, simple click of the button here. Nice aluminium step, makes entry a breeze. Let's continue to the front. The toilet is here, or the bathroom is this corner, here's the cassette, Dometic uh, Senio, and then a nice front box on this van for gas bottles and other storage. So that entry from both sides, and each side has a slide out. Coming into the van, uh, we've got a little extra here with the pouches, just good storage for caps and magazines and things so this is facing the rear uh, full queen bed island bed row by the side 
We've gone with curtains here for a little bit of separation. Nice uh, L-shaped lounge. Pretty spacious. Uh, reasonable sized kitchen. Refrigerator, 190 litres total, I think. 38 in the freezer and 150 something in the fr fridge. Double bunks on this model. Um, front corner. All our bunks have a little guard here to stop little ones falling, rolling out. Those can be altered if you if you wish to uh, larger or can be deleted. Every bunk has or can have a PowerPoint, but we always will fit 12 volt and USB and personalised light. Every bunk has a window. Um, sizes vary. This one has a three and a half kg, I believe, washing machine. Very handy. We we find it useful. We got black um, black frame in this this caravan. Nice roomy share. Our bathroom and pretty big share. Showers are 900 by 750, so plenty of room in those, all one piece. Gone with the black uh, slide mixer. Black taps on here, just a real nice colour throughout. We've deleted the aircon on this, it's got the gas heater as I said earlier. So we've replaced with a large skylight so you got heaps of natural light through here small one at the front big one in the middle another one again over the bed all skylights include the uh, fly screen and the blind and LED lights <clears throat> we've got the cubby holes on um, on the robes quite handy uh, to, and, and a little tidier perhaps to put your power points in the cupboard and run any phone charges or put books away in there. Now this one, first time we've done this we think it's a good idea. Uh, has your standard robe with, with the hanging rail for, for shirts and blouses and things. Um, normally comes with both robes with the hanger. But who who really is taking away that many hanging clothes on holiday? So easy option to change one side to shelving makes it a little more versatile. And of course, you can pick which side that is. Um, this one has a microwave which can run off the inverter off grid anywhere you are. Table can convert here, that'll slide across, drop down, can make that a bed. We've got another little storage for caps and maps and handy things there. And also got on a separation, it's quite, quite good, You've got kids asleep, you can lock that off and still be watching TV. TV will be fitted up here straight after the lockdown and you can watch TV from in bed or spin it around and watch from the lounge. Uh, bottom bunk, just run through quick remembering on the outside we've got our uh, electrics right in that corner with the, with the external hatch. Now we can get to more storage through this hatch, quite a lot through here can also lift the squab and you've got you got hatches from the top sometimes easier um, getting back into back into there for uh, less used items here's our infill cushion for the for the lounge um, this front cupboard is handy There's a lot of space in there for storage and of course washing machine, power point and water tap 
easy access all these doors solid plywood CNC machined out um, everything's very very robust this is a new Dometic model reasonably new uh, this is the RUC model which means compressor so this compressor is running now off, um, off the batteries in the sun I'll get into the menu here different functions get in through the menus by pressing and scrolling that wheel the freezer is uh, a little icy in there nice and cold heaps of room in the refrigerator nice solid latches on the handles most of our mattresses are uh, full size queens um, the island bed is very popular and every every mattress is in a sprung with a pillow top um, softer material on a uh, raisable base with gas stays very simple to, to lift you usually gain a whole lot of storage under the bed this one has a false floor um, due to the water heater um, I'll show you soon but this section here is the tunnel boot which is again very common under sort of under your head uh, under the bottom of the robes and external hatches either side that runs full width through through the van a lot of exterior storage there for uh, deck chairs tables um, fishing rods all that outside stuff outside at the back of the van I mentioned about the gas uh, water and space heater you can see the, the vents here so we've got the queen bed raised this has got a false floor on this one and we slide those panels across and you can see that this is a, a combi a Truma combi unit so we've got the plumbing plumbing over in this corner for water heating and then we've got space heating here then all that's run off a nice little control panel here beside the bed you can easily turn on heating from on or off heating from bed and um, get the water going too